Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to remove or install your transfer belt on your Konica Minota. This would be, this will work for your Konica Minota bits of CE458, C558, or slower, the C368, 308, and so forth. So if your machine looks like this, uh, this video will teach you how to remove your transfer belt. So let's get started. First off, what we need to do is Come to the site here. You can move the machine if you like to have more room. So you can open up the side door. And the first thing that we need to do is remove the fuser unit. So in order to do that, we need to remove the plastic cover that you see there. There's one screw there, one screw on top. Wiggle that cover out. There's like two covers. You're gonna pinch that top and the bottom and just pull that out. And there's like a little safety uh, tab there that's holding those cables that you see there. You're going to snap, remove all three of those. So once you have that, we're going to remove one screw that you see right there. And another screw that you see right there, I believe. Okay. So let's get started with that screw. We're going to remove that one. So we're going to come here and we're going to remove that one. That's the two screws that hold the fuser. So now with your hand, you're just going to grab it like that. Take it out. Now there's two screws. You have one here, the one in the black, and the one on the top. So the one we're going to remove is we're going to take the black one out first. That's a little cover that's there. And then now remove the second one. And then on this one, there's only one screw. You're going to go ahead and remove that. And then you're gonna pull, pull it out, just like that. And once you have that, both of them pulled out, you with your two hands, just like that, you just lift it up and pull out. Be super careful. Grab it with your both hands, and you can set this aside. So let's pretend if this was your new belt, you would just now carefully line it up with the slot that you see there, and just push that in until you hear the lock and it drops into place. You now push those metal brackets back in, put the screw in there, do the same on this side, grab that little black cover that you see there. It looks just like that. So you're gonna put it in, just like that. It's mainly just like a safety holder. You're gonna grab your fuser, slide it back in there. Put your screws back, each side. And go ahead and put uh, connect your cables back in there. So the rest, you'll just pretty much reverse the process of removing those two uh, protective covers put those covers back in there and you should be good to go good luck guys